he doesn't have anything that's cookie cutter. For example, you know, he's very intelligent when it comes to processing rock and crushing and screening. Uh, very much devoted his his life to that. So he knows exactly how he likes things built uh, with little tweaks in it that maybe other the other things you wouldn't get from a standard off the shelf product from a from a dealer from another manufacturer perhaps and uh, he likes to come and put his twist on things uh, to, to the point where he'll come here and sit down pull up a chair beside our engineers draw it up draw up his equipment the way he wants it uh, go out in the factory while the guys are building it and get, dig right in there hands-on with while we're doing it so and he's actually made us a better manufacturer some of the things that we've learned the skills that we've learned building some of the things for him, we've incorporated some of those ideas and other things that we fabricate, and he's made us better. Let's stop and think about how this system would work. So I made a very, very crude model, just snapping some Legos together over the course of an hour, and uh, put, uh, and, the, and the driver behind it was just to figure out the geometry behind the system, how the conveyors would interact with one another, uh, the forces at play, um, and you know how if, if we had the track drives on the crusher how that would interact and move all three conveyors so that started the process um, I have a designer uh, Jim Lay who's been with me for several years and so I, I obviously called Jim up and said hey I've got this idea so he and I went to work so I went to Walnut and sat down and spent a day and a half with Jack and uh, and, and Mike and Will, and known them, you know, obviously since, uh, known Mike and Will since 2004, and they, they've done a lot of work for us in between, building some structure, building conveyors, and, and uh, so said, hey, here's what we're looking to do. Here's how we think it'll function. Here's how we need things to work as far as automation, hydraulics, auto leveling, etc. Here's our concepts on how it should function, what will make it function and not bind up. So we laid all this out over a couple hours and had a real, you know, just a very candid discussion. I said, now here's what I want you to tell me. I don't want you to tell me why it'll work. I want you to tell me why it won't work. I want you to poke holes. What are we missing? Why won't this function? And at the end of it, you know, after about three hours of talking through it and explaining and answering questions, uh, you know, I remember Mike said, you know what, I don't see why this won't work. I, I think I think we can make this thing work. And, and Jack and Will agreed. So um, we solved some problems that day, talked about joints, about how to connect. Do we use, do we, do we make, you know, uh, uh, put carrier and, and, and uh, uh, vertical roller bearings in the joints? How do we go about doing some of these things and there were so many problems to solve you couldn't do them all in a day and a half we spent two years solving problems on the thing so we went back the next day we worked and started modeling some things and drawing some things up in 2d called jack told him and will said hey i think we've got it and another thing tci very resourceful uh, they brought in a hydraulics and automation company because this is not what i, I crush rock and i don't you know i'm typically I'm not designing things this intricate. So um, they hooked us up with an outfit out of Iowa and we met with them, told them what we needed, and they went to work and designed the automation, the radio controls, the hydraulic systems. Uh, they helped design the carrier that, that, that moves the jaw crusher uh, and uh, you know all the hydraulics on it. So they, uh, TCI built uh, the, the doghouse for the, the carrier shipped it out to this company. The company put everything in it, put the powered it, and we I worked through all the issues with them. We ended up with a with a V10 Ford gas engine actually driving the machine. The challenges um, on designing a system like this are unreal. And I bet the farm on it. I don't like taking that big a risk though, but it was it was a very expensive machine to design and build and uh, was I nervous when we had it all hooked together and the first time we fired it up and crawled it? Yes, I was. And, uh, you know, TCI hooked us up with an engineering firm. They reviewed everything. We ran snow loads, ice load, snow load calculations, wind calculations on it. That being said, things still go wrong. 
had a high level of confidence it would work, but still you don't know. So when we fired it up and drove it, and it actually, things started auto leveling and doing what they were supposed to do, and nothing broke in half after we crawled it across the pit, pit and parked it at the face to ready to start feeding it, uh, it was a good day. When I call TCI, somebody answers the phone. I'm talking to a person, not a machine. That is something that exemplifies their level of service. And our companies, we do not have uh, uh, voice answering systems. Somebody that's alive with a pulse answers the phone <laughs> to take care of the customer. And it doesn't stop there. Uh, you know, when, when I, the reason I went TCI with this project in particular was because I needed a company that had uh, people at the helm who had a lot of experience. And also though, that being said, I needed people though who were willing to go out and try something new and not shoot down every idea. Um, there are other companies out there I could have taken this to and they either would not have been interested in it or they would have said, ah, that, nah, that ain't gonna work. Um, and with TCI, I didn't worry about that. I went to them and said, here's what I'm thinking. Here's our concept. We think it'll work. Tell us why it won't. Like I said, in four hours, I think it'll work. And we rolled up the sleeves and went to work and designed it. And uh, watching them grow, knowing that they, and in fact, you know, Mike designed the PEP screen. So that's somebody right there who can uh, look at a problem and come up with a unique solution to solve it. And that's what we were trying to do. So it was just the right fit. And they were big enough to do it and small enough to still be able to pull it off and do it because they were nimble. And that's a big part of it. To go from an napkin drawing to see it actually in the quarry, making rock, you know, or transferring rock, whatever it's doing is incredibly rewarding. It's uh, it's hard to beat it really is and i think that most of the everybody here at tci has that passion also and really really enjoys that really enjoys that we uh anything that we could do to satisfy a customer when you get somebody like brad ward who's very well known in the industry as a as an expert in crushing and screening and in, in the fact that he keeps coming back here to us and we keep doing projects with him it just validates that everything we're doing around here is, is the right way of doing things. So all about customer service.